Okay, so let us begin. Just look, I have the sheet that I sent you yesterday. There's more detail, it's clearer. So what is to be explained here is that Abish says to Moshe, I mean, even though Alikim, that's Satikh Alikim, the Pada, I pointed you Alikim, quote unquote, of a Pada, as it says in, 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 in Pasha Shmoy, so in Tehillim, the Pasuk reads, Alikim, Alakech Hanoichi, referring to that, Nonetheless, I am, I am higher than you. Now, the question is, this is patently obvious and chas v'shalom to entertain any thoughts otherwise. What's the Pasuk saying? So obviously it's not referring to the Ebishtid himself. It's referring to notwithstanding the Gewaldic level of Giloy of Eir, of Meshe Rabbeinu, there is yet higher. What is his level and what is higher? That's the answer that's to be explained here. One answer um, sourced in the Eratayra, another answer higher still in the Kutatayra. Eratayra from the Tzemach Tzedek and the Kutatayra from the Alter Rebbe. So the right hand column is in, uh, in general Abiyad Klolus, as opposed to the left hand column Abiyad Protus. Hind Biyachas Lasei Dishtal Shlos is missing a Dishtal Shin. So Abiyad the Protest means Seyed Ishtal Shalos. That's Abiyad the Protest. We're all familiar with Atzilus, Brit, Tzir, Asir. And now on the bigger picture, about Abiyad uh, about the Klolos, it, it stretches from Seyed Ishtal Shalos all the way to Eirin Sof, where Atzilus is the lowest level of Abiyad the Klolos, whereas in Abiyad the Klolos, Atzilus is the highest level. So can, looking at the right-hand column from the bottom up, as you can see, Asiya the Klolos is Atzilus. Yitzida the Klolos is Keser. Bria the Klolos is Adam Kadman. And Atzilus the Klolos, we've got two levels in Atzilus the Klolos, which we're going to look at in a moment. Now, underneath Atzilus the Klolos, I wrote Neshamal and Neshamal Shalmosh, that's the Lashon of the Maimed, what that means is the source of the source. The, the, the source, classic stam, is Atsilas Aprotis. But everything is integrated. Atsilas Aklolis is a reflection of Atsilas the, I'm sorry, Atsilas the Protis is a reflection of Atsilas the Klolis. Therefore, Neshama, the Neshama is Atsilas the Klolis. Neshama source. That's what you mean here by Neshama. Moshe Rabbeinu's Neshama is a source. So it's, Direct source is Atsilus de Pratis. The more bigger picture source is Atsilus de Klolis. Hence, Neshama le Neshama. That's the meaning of that phrase in the mind. So the answer, now, what's the Nial Gabach? The Nial Gabach is not only Atsilus a Pratis, but Nial Gabach is even Atsilus a Klolis. Now, in general, okay, so let's see in, in, the, in the, the answer. So Pirish Aleph, what is Atzilus Aklolis? This is Eirat Torah. Atik the Ak. So Ak, as you see, is Bria. And what is that, the Klolus? And what is what is uh, uh, Atzilus the Klolus? It's Atik the Ak. That's what Atzilus Aklolis is. So therefore, what's Ani Al-Gabach? Ani Al-Gabach has said himself, lift the Atzimtza. So Atzilus Aklolis is not there himself. Says, he says, it is Atik, which is the bridge between Atzimtza and Atzilus. Or in the general language of Siddhas, as he brings in the mind, that's the Piddush according to, to in Atzimtza. But Bachlal and Chsidis earlier, the Kutatera and other places, it brings that no, Atzilus Aklolis is what? Eirin Sof, Pirish Beis, Eirin Sof Lifne Atzimtzum, the Kutatera. So Atzilus Aklolis is Eirin Sof Lifne Atzimtzum, the Chayra, above that is Atzimus. And there's no Chiddush to say Ani Al Gabach. We still have to be in the Darg of Eir. So why did so you here, put it in the paper? In the paper, but, you should have put, I'm just saying, a little Ha'ara on the paper, you could have. You should have put the Pirisha Bays higher than the Pirisha Aleph. Because, because, okay, I get it. 
Uh, to leave I, 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 ha, 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 okay, fine. So, what is therefore? So, so if Atilas Aklolis is what? Is Erin's of Lifni Atimsum, what's Ani Al Gabach and not Atmos? Answer. Avo, this is the representative here in the Maimed. That which we say that Atilas Aklolis is Erin's of Lifni Atimsum, that's a Rakis Pashta soil. Direct translation. The Ispashtas literally means the spreading, the manifestation of the oil. What's the Kiddush? It's still not Atmos. And the Al Gabach, it's still in the oil, but it's Atzim oil. Okay, now these are just words. The difference between Ispashtas oil and Atzim oil, Lifne Atzim. So, just to give you an idea, just for fun, not for fun, but uh, I looked up the uh, uh, the citizen uh, what's it called? Uh, goodness gracious, Chaim. Safer Erchen. Safer Erchen. Rabbi El made, Rebbe, the Rebbe instructed the Biel, this goes way back, to make an encyclopedia on Chsidis. So, He's, he hasn't finished the letter Aleph yet. And there's already 10 volumes. 10 volumes. Uh, there's an interesting letter, an interesting letter that uh, Rav Zevn, the famous Rav Zevn, uh, writes to the Rebbe that he got the, uh, the first or the second volume of Sefer Erchem. And he says, the Arichas is, uh, you know, it's just tremendous Arichas, it's just too much. It needs to be more concise. So the Rebbe defended Rabbi El and said, no, what can you do that it's Kishmak, something like that. that it's, it's, it is beyond mind-blowing. And they say, I heard this from more than one source that the, the Rebbe said when it came out, the first volume probably already, that he knew Rabbi El would do such a good job, but such a, a to such an extent, um, he wasn't expecting it. Something along those lines. So I just want to tell yeah. you, his understanding uh -huh. of his understanding. It's not just the understanding. It's not just the understanding. It is yeah the understanding, but it's the the detail, the the breadth, the depth. It is my on oil itself. There's several volumes, friends. It's not it's just not a joke. So here, just to tell you, on here, Edsonberg and Spashta so it is also a whole lot of this. But so I'm just going to give two words to give some, give us a sense. <laughs> the difference, the essence of the light or the expression of the light. So this might be useful. What, what do you mean by light altogether as we always point out? That there's no light. There's no light. It's all emotion. It's a metaphor. And it's a very uh, accurate metaphor because the MS is, this is also Chiddush of Rebbe, that physical light does manifest from Ruch Nizdikilah. It's not just a marshal, a parable. It's not a parable. It, it's a marshal in the deeper sense where it actually devolves from the nimshot, the properties of light. And science is still now beginning only to discover the, the properties of light and the various theories. And no scientist, no physicist, no, uh, um, no, the latest science, uh, Upon him, so I'm not going to pretend in any way, but I, I, I am some understanding that for a little bit that's reflective of the different properties of various explaining chassidus, whether it's it's a wave or whether it's a series of points and the various other theories um, about the nature of light. I call upon him, so just to say two words. So what does Eir mean? So Eir means God manifesting himself to Period. Now, manifesting himself implies intrinsic in that is otherness. The fact is, there is no otherness and there can't be otherness. As we've pointed out in the past, the biggest chiddush period of all of existence is Eir and Sof. That's the most radical thing. That is the union of Eir. Usually it's the starting point. Eir and Sof is a given, an infinite life. That's a huge chiddush. Mo'ir is a chiddush, that God should be a luminary, is a huge chiddush, a radical choice of atmos that is inexplicable. 
because moir must produce oil. And it's again the notion of otherness. So this is all the, the prayer of Atmos that Ab- the Abisha decides free choice, again, free of all consideration in my list, because there are no considerations in my list, to have a kavana called Dira Betachtoinim. And it all begins, therefore, on this first step is the is oil, is giloy, the whole idea of giloy. So etzem and his pashtus, perhaps just to distill it into two words. Etzem is the notion of revelation. His pashtus is the acknowledgement of revelation. And there's a difference. The acknowledgement is, uh, is already an acknowledgement of, of fact on some level. The acknowledgement of manifestation. I mean, by that I mean the acknowledgement of the reality of a manifestation, of its, of its existence. So in that acknowledgement, there's still no other, there's no dargis, there's nothing. But there is an acknowledgement of a validity, a validation of gilu. Ispashtus is the validation from, of, of revelation. Uh, from within? Sure, this is all, there's no, in Ispashtus is already some kind of gilu. But still within, it's the Abish did himself validating ex- otherness. So it's, it's in him, but there is otherness. So it's all within. The etzema is not the validation, which is the next step of validation is the notion. Conceiving the notion of otherness, the conception of that there could be otherness, that's etzema It's it, Rabbi, it, that's, it's absolutely. Let me, let me just please. please. Okay. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to. Uh, if you don't mind, no one should comment. You okay. need to think about this. Think about this long and hard, because if we comment very quickly, then we're not getting it. It just needs a lot of thought, because the words are deceptively simple. Just gonna, I was just going to say the same thing that what you're doing is something exactly. remarkable because you're you're bringing the ineffable into words, into that which is so sublime, uh, that is giving uh, d- from the point of view of what you even gave the example yesterday of a hologram and, and the words that you're describing are bringing into uh, into clarity through words that which can't be because it's a masha like for example even the whole idea of diffusion of light and the laser light but all of that is still words but the fact that you're able to describe and bring it forward rabbi is is giving the possibility of understanding that which is ineffable and sublime thank you for the for the compliment but i'm going to come back with it with a, uh, a little um the teacher has this obligation. Uh, I'll fill in the, you can fill in the blank when I, to describe what I'm going to say. In learning anything, especially something radical and novel and, and, and uh, novel, there are three stages. Actually, the three stages are reflected that I've explained in the Kutasichas in the three names of Pesach. This is a very important lesson for all of us. I and mean, thank you for sparking it. Um, Pesach has three names. There's a name in Midday Rice, it's, it's Chagamatzis. Then there's the name Midrabona, is is Manche Ruseno. And then there's the, the, uh, the language is escaping me today, believe it or not. Can't find words. The name, the, the name, of, well, the name is the people create, there's a word for it. Vernacular, come not vernacular, there's a term for it. The language of the people, born by the people. I mean, folk, a folk name? Yeah, I don't mean that, but uh, whatever. Pesach. It's called Pesach. So Chagam Matzis, it's Man Cherusein on Pesach. So the Rebbe explains that these are three stages in attaining freedom. And the Moshal, which freedom means going beyond dramatically and drastically our current position. The current station, no matter how beautiful it is. So that's the big Chiddush of Chassidus, that Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim is not just Mitzrayim of Klippa, but even Mitzrayim of Kedusha. We have to go out of Mitzrayim. So there are three central stages, and he gives them, he illustrates that with, with a teacher, a, a master and disciple. The master of the Maimah here, we're all the disciple, in learning radical concepts. So in learning radical concepts, the first step is Matzah. It's complete bittel and just listening before any analysis or consideration of the idea, just like, like, like the satellite dish, just hearing it. Then cheros, meloshin, engraved, then we have to internalize it, take it within, 
And then Pesach, then the jump, then from our previous state to the altered state. But there, there are three distinct states. So before even considering, uh, like what, just hearing what, what is being said, and then allowing it to penetrate Kheiros, internalize the thinking of, thinking of a later. I mean, that can be done quickly if we're geniuses, but there are three, three stages. They're practically speaking, every, you know, all Siddim learned this very, you have to learn this, listening to a Fabrengen. Fabrengen is Chagamatzis, that's what it is. You, you listen, there's no analysis, it's just listening, obviously listening, taking it and taking it. In. Then after the Fabrengen is, is Man say, no, internalizing the debate, the discussion. And when it's fully done, Pesach, then we've, we've gotten it, we've shifted from pre Fabrengen to now a post Fabrengen. Uh, Appreciation and mindset, that's the, the third stage. Reflected in the Raisa, the Rabbonon, and Minig Yisro. The, the ultimate is to get to the Pesach. Okay, so again, let's just, just these two words that, I, that may be useful. Etzim the notion of revelation. Ispashtis the validation of revelation, or the acknowledgement of revelation. At any rate, so that's Ani al Gabba. That's what we're up to. Let's plow ahead. Now, Om Nom, I say, no, no, where are we up to? No, 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 they say. Yes? Yes. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Rabbi Michelle, for sparking that teaching, inspiring that teaching. In a are you walking? It's frozen in time. Must be walking here. In order that this level be drawn down, the level of Moshe, equal Atzilos, which is the level of Likim, in the square brackets, that have a Thankfully, summarizes it for us. Hein kemoshe batzilus the protest, both atzilus the protest, which is the source of his neshama, direct. Hein kemoshe b'sharshe batzilus the klolus, and the way it is not the klolus. And he summarizes the two pirushim here. Bazei guf and and in atzilus the klolus itself. Hein kemoshe b'chinas reishes sakav. That's the pirush of who, of the tzemach tzedek atik the ak. Hein kemoshe b'shoy the shoshim b'chinas eris of shuftat tzim tzim and also as tilus haklolus is explained articulated by the Alter Rebbe, which is eris itself of that tzim tzim, which we added that caveat that it means just pash to soy, not that tzim oir summary right there. It's a summary of our previous eris. How does he ask how the ad and daft? One of the questions was why is a chiddush as elachem? Why was it conveyed to Moshe and Aaron simultaneously, when mitzvahs in general are given to Moshe? And then Aaron then he tells Aaron, and Aaron then conveys it to the people or to Paru. This reminds me of something. Eli Meli, our eldest grandson, when he was, I think I told you this, he was in pre kindergarten, and how old he was. It was before great, so the kids had to say who are their heroes. Who are your heroes? So he comes up with, he says, Aaron. Aaron, if you're going this, Moshe Rabbein. He says, why Aaron? Because he always helps Moshe Rabbein. He's a chassid of Moshe Rabbein. So then we're going to learn this here now. <laughs> Vispashtus. If you think we finished with all dargasit, we're not finished yet. Every hamshach has to come through a process of timsim and then his pashtus. As you'll elaborate in a moment, she's having in Yudke the Shemavaya. That's the first two letters of Shemavaya Yudke, namely. Shayudu Timsum, Yud, of course, it's Timsum. It's a tiny, small little letter. It's non-manifest. The hey, he's pashtus. The letter hey physically is a roof and a side and a, and a door and an opening below. It's pashtus. Commercial. My and Venor, and a simple marshal, which we've which encountered before, as I recall, right, is the source of the river, which is the spring. So the spring, Shamai, in the way, tip in tip, in the spring, 
flows, Levea flows drop by drop. But even Shal Nakuda, it's a way of Nakuda. Shal Nakuda, the Yud that the parallel is the Yud, which is Chachma, Shibchnes Nakuda, which is a Nakuda. Yachaz in Asa is Pashtas, the Rechavis Anor, then comes the broad river. And this quote, Rechavis Anor, is from, from Pashta Bereshis, Pashta Vayishlach. One of Esau's descendants was a person called Shol Merechavis Anor. That's Bina. Pchinas Bina, that's expansive river, that's Bina. Having said that, we understand that Moshe Aaron. This is also in the Meishan Ar, the next page, if you have it, page Kuf Tzadik Vov, Dine Meishan, Bechinas Yud, Meishan is Yud, Meishan is Nakud, Meishan is Bittl, as we said before, complete Bittl, hence, as we mentioned the other day, his heaviness of speech, and then beyond that, he couldn't speak altogether, Aralz Vasoyim, he's drawn from Menamayim Mishisihu, Atzilus, which is dominated by Chochma, Bittl, Meat, he can't give meat directly, not directly, but he's the shirtish of it. So she says, Atzilus, Atzilus, is dominated by Chachm. As I've explained, that the four Olimus are not just the same Olimus, just down scaled or dimmed. They, are di they have different Ufi, different characters, in the sense that Atzilus is dominated by Chachma. Period. All of the ten spheres are dominated, suffused with the bitl of Chachma. Briyas is dominated by the understanding of Bina. Yitzit is dominated by the by the six spheres, and Asi is dominated by Malchus. So it's a whole different, a whole different experience in each of the worlds. Not merely the same template on a lower scale. Satzilus is all dominated by Yud. As it says in Zayd Abba Yilo Mekanan about Silas, that Abba Yilo, the supernal Abba, which is Chachma, rests, as it were, or nests, more literally, in Atzilas. And Bina, Yilo, and Bria, and so on. So, I'm sorry, someone hit that. It's probably Binyam. And... You go. Little... So, yeah, so Moshe ben Yitzchak Silas was there. Gamish because the Medrash, the same Medrash we said earlier, the same Medrash that explains that the Ebrish is Melech Hakovet. The simple meaning is that he is the honor, honored king, but the deeper explanation is that he dispenses covered and so on, as we explained. Right, a mortal king doesn't allow that to be called in his name and so on. So it says there that as we quoted earlier, that he calls them his name, Malikim. Because he, he bestows honor upon those who fear him. Now the diak here is what covered. Covered. It's all to explain Moshe Bainer's level. What covered? Covered is Begimatri 32. Yep. The Koya Lamad based the Sivis Chachm Shemid Batzilus. So this is, brings in Kabbalah that there are 32 pathways of Chachm that illuminate Batzilus. Where does number 32 come from? So there are some, there are several explanations. One is 32 is the 10 Svidas and the 22 letters of the Aleph base by which the Svidas are articulated. So in other words, Gilu. So the 32 parts of Chachma, it actually spelled out in Seyfi Yitzir, if I'm not mistaken, the 32 parts of Chachma, corresponds to also the 32 strings of the Tzitzis. That's what it is. The Talus is Makiv, the Talus is Keser, is Rotsen. And the 32 strings are Chachma, is the of the Makiv in the Pneumius. You follow? Keser, that's the talus gufa, and the strings are the amshachah, but you're missing the 32, eight strings in four corners. That's the 32 paths of chachma. O begimatri kovet. That's what the medr said. The whole medr is the Hebrew says a melech covered, the king that bestows covered, and what's that? What's the covered? The first expression of that is Moshe Rabbeinu being called al shmoi. 
Moshe Rabbeinu is the darga of COVID, of 32, the 32 in the Sibbis HaChachon, pathways of Chachon. Are we clear? Yeah? I mean, just the, the technical. Yeah, that's Yud. That's Yud. Yud is Chachma. So within Yud, there are 32 pathways of his expression. Again, the number again, the 10 Sviris, the 22 letters. Which in general means Oyrin Kaiser. Okay. That's, you know, let's go. Okay, the Aaron, the beginning is Heide Shaina. We'll just continue. And Aaron is the second, is the first let, the first Heide, as opposed to the second Heide, which is Malchus. Shall Yod the Dafke Nasa Gilud by his pastor, the beginning is Moshe. It's not un similar to what he said earlier from the Alter Rebbe, that Moshe, no, Ani Al-Gabach is Etzim Moshe, so this is all relative. So Moshe is already Oyer in Ispashtus, but in Oyer itself, what kind of Ispashtus, Chochm, which is still Bittl, and Aden is the next level, true Ispashtus, that's the hey. Continue this, Beis Hashem. Yes, friends, on Monday, today's story. No, continue, continue the oh. ice, okay, until more people Hashem. come. <laughs> okay, there's still the story. And so it is in the Shodish, the Shodish of Moshe, that seal is the Klolos. Yeah, the Shodish of Moshe, even that seal is the Klolos, not just that seal is the Protest, but it's the Klolos, which we said, which is either Attic or Etzem or is Begin as Yud. First, the way it is the way Mitzad the Tzemach Tzedex, Kiyadu, or Shereish, is a Kav, the first level of the Kav, Shizel, Begin as Attila the Klolos, or Atayra. It's all relative. In the Kav, the highest level, there's the Yud of Shemavai. Parts of the Ak and the face, which is not the Yud, already the expression, parts of the face literally. The Ak, which is the level below that. That's the first Hey. That's that's Shuzab Khanishal Aden. So that's Yud K, the way it is not still as the Klolos. Shal Yod Nasa Gyula be spashtu the Gemesh Kivisha Bashorsha. It's interesting, he doesn't explain that the Alter Rebbe uh, is Pashtun to Etzemeir. He just addresses the Tzemach Tzedek's beer. Fact, does he say it? No. Okay, so that's the Yud K, the way it is, the Milo, that Moshe Rabbein is Reish Sakav, and, and Aden is what the parts of Ak, which is already the whole form, the Tzir of Ak, that's already Giloy, that's already been in the, in the broad sense. That's our opinions and the Shamshach and Pinus Moshe by the Al Yidei Aaron. This that the Shamshach of Moshe indispensable to his Gilo is Aaron, who heim ben Gila Dib of his Galus of Bnei Yisrael is also with respect to communicating and revealing and to Yidden. Shazen Neamar v'Daber Hu Aaron Davke l'Cho el v'Diber Hu v'Diber Hu and he will speak l'Cho for you along to the people. So in every step of the way from the Shere Shor Shoy, Moshe's Gilo needs Aaron. Both Lamaila Maila, the Rishi Sakav remains obscure. If not for Ak, which then articulates that, Adam Kadman at the parts of, but it's already Adam starting to form. And then speaking to Yidden, the Hemben Gela, Pula Lepari, and all the way down to Padoi. That you need, Moshe Rabbeinu retains this tachlis habitel that needs Aaron to then give an expression. He will be your mouthpiece, your Yaviyacha means to articulate. Nips for Sayim. So this says, this means the mouth articulating. He will be the one that will articulate and bring your level even to power. Okay, so the base to be continued. So, so, to, so to sum uh, up this I, so yes. to sum up this ice in 30 seconds. Go ahead. No, I'm, no, I'm asking you to say. That's my job. So what, to sum up this ice in 30 seconds. So what did he say? No. He's answering why you need art. Simply he's answering why you need, that's what the, the subject of this ice is. And the answer that Moshe Rabbeinu is on all of his... His levels, it's all a uniform, tachlis habitel, non articulated level. Because of his bitel and his shoyrish, his shoyrish shoyrishoy, the way he speaks to Yidn, he speaks to Paroi, he's Yud, he is the, the symbol of Moshe Benu's Yud bitel. And this, therefore, you need, you need Aaron 
to express it and articulate it to the to the other and the other and all of the levels of otherness all the way down to Pare. Hence, Aaron is Neviyacha. Now the question remains why this was only okay. But why is that Nebuch is speaking this to both at the same time was Aaron and Moshe whereas other mitzvahs first Moshe and then he gives it to Aaron. That's what we explained at the end of the mind. So the Yud Kibavke model uh, goes from yeah. from level to le- from level to level. Yeah, so much so that in general we say sometimes we say that you does atzilus and he is bria and vavas yitzir and he is asiyah. That's in 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 in, in beprotius and becholos. As becholos we're learning now, what is yud? Yud is the darge of yud and soft if neatzim so mispashtes oir. Or in general, yud and soft if neatzim so what is the hey? The hey is 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 reishes akav, ak. That's Aaron. So it's all relative. This magnificent rabbi too. The levels of sod from in pardes. How many levels are on in sod that had to be distilled, and then all, God has yeah, given us the opportunity. Correct. But the beauty is, we need to appreciate that it is. They're all integrated. Indeed. All, Thank all you so reflective much, rabbi. of the other. It's all integrated in this incredible unity. Okay. Thank you so much, Rabbi Yeshikoa.